Hey Virgo, welcome to your June weekly reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable, therefore it can go vice versa. And this reading is not going to resonate with everyone, so take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest, okay? Also, if this reading is resonating with you, I'm offering extended uh, reading at the end of this. It'll be in the description box down below. There will be a link there you can click, okay? All right. So first things first, you guys got the six of autumn, okay? Your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts, acquire wise loans, or receive a grant or scholarship. In return for heaven's blessings, be sure to share the wealth with others through donations of time or money to reputable charities. With release, okay? It's time to release the past and move on to something new. The ending is the first step on the way to a happier future. So I feel like there was a situation... Um, that was kind of back and forth here, uh, probably, uh, giving little bits, either paying off debts too, could be financial, but it could also, could also be emotional, um, things that, a situation you were giving into in regards to your partner as well, uh, where, um, you would give more than probably you were receiving, okay? And with the release card, it's kind of like, that's done, okay, now it's time for a new beginning, Okay, I really feel like uh, a decision has been made uh, to allow somebody to move forward here, okay? We have strategy, the thinking woman, indecision with deceit. So I kind of feel like from the female's perspective, possibly, um, it doesn't have to be. But it's kind of showing me that, that they've kind of come up with the... Um, the, the thought process of and the theory that this was never really going to go anywhere. That what they had hoped for in the situation uh, was just that, possibly just dreams that were and expectations that were never going to happen. Okay. There's a sense of also feeling like from either one of you feel like the other one was being a bit uh, shady or deceptive or not speaking um, authentically. Okay, uh, in hope in regards to where you wanted this relationship to go. Okay, let's get into the overall. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, this is a brand new beginning of prosperity and new opportunities here. So we go from the Six of Autumn, which is uh, equivalent to the Six of Pentacles in the tarot deck. Uh, to now the, the Ace of Pentacles, okay? A brand new opportunity here. This could be in regards to uh, finances, moving somewhere, or it can be just the beginning of uh, security and stability uh, in your life or in the relationship, okay? So let's see what's happening here. Let's see it with you. What's going on with you with your person? Nine of Cups, the Fool, and the World card. Okay, so you are you are in search of uh, new love. Okay, what it's showing me is you are ready to just break out, give it all you got, put yourself out there, and see what the what um, the world's gonna bring you. Okay, so I want the Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords. Hanged man. So also what I see here is for those of you that haven't left, um, emotionally left the person that you're um, thinking of here, um, you are ready to speak your truth and let them know that, you know, what you want, uh, emotionally tell them that you love them, but you deserve better. Okay. Um, not really leaving them, but giving them an opportunity here to really show you that uh, if they want more, they can have more. It's almost like uncovering the strategy here. Uh, you're going about it in a very lighthearted way as well, um, expressing your emotions, not making it too, too serious where you're like, you know, it's not that it's the end of the world if you're not with me, but if I love you, if you don't want to make this work, then fine. Uh, but even though inside you may feel like, you know, stressed out or really want this person, you know, that 
you know, something's got to give here and you need to uh, do this in order to move on. But it's really about unraveling a strategy. The world justice, yeah. Justice, five of swords. Because this person, and I really did get that from the six of autumn, it feels like, because, oh, they're even carrying uh, a coin there. Um, it, you kind of feel like you've paid your dues here, right? You've dealt with the, the conflict. You've dealt with how they are, how they've been treating you. You've dealt with all this, and it's kind of like, you know, I need to turn things around. It's made me very unbalanced and made me very um, unstable. It, it, you feel like when you look back and you took this time to really think about this whole thing and possibly why they were indecisive and uh, possibly why you were indecisive, should I move on, should I not, uh, was because... Uh, they made you feel like there wasn't enough, uh, there wasn't enough stability to kind of build the foundation so you can, guys can work off that to make it something more. Uh, it seems a bit like they left you feeling, as soon as you thought about it, they left you feeling empty and kind of unstable because they left you wanting more and you're like, no, I'm not that type. No, I'm a very, like... You either, you either want to contribute and uh, be a part of this relationship or, or, you know, show that you're interested in me or not. Because um, it seemed like you really did love this person or want this person here. The full emperor. Yeah, you are taking control of your situation now. Uh, you're not leaving it in limbo anymore. Yes, uh, that's exactly what I saw with all of these four together was you really did take some time to analyze this, you know, and really uh, think this through. Okay, so let's see what's happening on their side here. What are they doing in regards to you? Where are they at? Uh, the star, ten of wands, five of pentacles. So yes, not only are they missing you, this is something very difficult for them uh, to be without you. So I did sense kind of uh, less communication, if even no communication, um, after a certain conversation or something has happened here. Um, but the Star, Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles, this person, it's 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 really hard on them because they feel like they've lost the world right now. They've lost everything. Um, having trouble keeping high hopes in the situation that um, things will turn around. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Wheel. That's what I just said. They're having trouble thinking uh, things are going to turn around, okay, and turn around for the better, right? They're kind of stuck in this cycle. Oh, I just heard, poor me, poor me. So maybe they're, you know, self-inflicting thoughts of, you know, uh, feeling like, you know, gosh, the whole world is crashing on me. Why is it my fault? Why is this, you know, happening to me? Some of the Ten of Wands tower yeah it was a sudden change it's something that you've invested in for a while with this person um you really gave uh in this relationship you really try to stick it through even the tough times which um even if it's something like a situationship where it wasn't that serious that would be like you know dealing with their uh, inadequacy of commitment, dealing with their in and outs kind of energy or only being there at times when they wanted to be there. It was just you put in the effort to still be the stable part of it, even though they were just giving you little bits, you know, of attention or, or their time. Tell the star card. Strength card. Okay. So this is interesting. Even though they're kind of in a, uh, in a mode of feeling bad for themselves, they still, they still have a little sparkle of hope that things can turn around just a little, but what's overcompensating that is their feelings of lack. They feel like, no, this is not happening. I don't know what's going to, how can I get out of this? 
I can't believe I lost, I lost you. Okay. There's a big, uh, red flag here of them feeling like, uh, they've lost everything, which is in regards to you. So that kind of tells me maybe you guys did a lot for this person or you might have helped them out even in minor ways, but it was major for them. Okay. Uh, you kind of fill the spot. I'm also seeing here Tower Hermit, Ten of Wands. You fill the spot in their life where, uh, where they needed that support. They needed somebody even at 2 a.m. to call. It's like they just, you've been that kind of little support system, that little rock for them to lean on. Okay, let's see what they want to come of this. Yeah, I kind of have the feeling already what they want to come of this. Eight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Empress. So they want to be able to communicate with you back and forth, express themselves, be able to take action as well um, to really kind of fix this, okay? And, and possibly offer you a new beginning. They, they want to be able to come to you and really talk things out and be... Uh, kind of I just heard after the dust settles so possibly after that tower uh, moment where you possibly said something to them and um, it doesn't have to be bad it, it could have just been you know look it it's just not working for me anymore it's not working like this like the way it's been going it's not so I need I need to do this for myself I care about you but I need to move on seven of swords eight of wands some of the seven of swords page of pentacles yeah they want to talk to you it's a strategy uh they want to okay so this is what i'm seeing they want to be able to sit down possibly ask you you know go just go sit in a park or coffee shop be able to see you in person to talk to you have this conversation back and forth kind of pick your brain a little bit uh see where you're at how you feel uh what you really want in a sense it's a strategy here with the seven of swords page of pentacles to gain knowledge and information here with the page uh on how they can kind of uh fix this how they can work their way back in um tell me about the knight of pentacles let's see death card so that's the release card tell me about the death card four of wands judgments yeah they just want this stability back with you. They they want um, to they want to start over, but building it on a like a solid foundation, make it something that's gonna last instead of um, the little bits that they would put in or give into the situation. Um, left you feeling very depleted. Left you feeling like uh, this is I'm not I'm not getting enough. Why I, you feel so excited at the time, like when they're. Say they give you five minutes of their time or ten minutes. You get lost in the conversations. It could have been someone that you really, because I see that you enjoy. Uh, but then when they're gone, you know, if they're gone for a long time, it's like you just start to realize there's this epiphany for you. Like, I don't like the way I'm feeling. I'm feeling like I'm just kind of being used a little bit here. But they're done with that Knight of Pentacles death card, which is good because it after the death card is a four of wands judgment so they want to kind of stop and stop the way that things have been going not temporarily but permanently and that's what we want to see so we're going to see where it goes from there if you're if this is resonating with you you're more than welcome to join me in an extended reading i'll put in the description box down below we're going to go over what action they're going to take where this is headed um hidden energies what you need to know that you don't know the outcome of the situation and we're going to go over romance the romance angel card messages for you okay uh, if this is your last stop thank you so much for joining me virgo i will see you next week love you bye